Hello there. Welcome. How are you doing? I'm doing good, Quib. Hi, guys. Today we're going to learn how to animate mouths on Toon Boom. All right, well, the first thing you want to do is you want to buy Toon Boom Harmony, right? Because if you don't have it, then you can't make mouths and you can't animate. So you want to get the perpetual license, right? And you want to... Oh. Never mind. Try to get Toon Boom any way you can. On that note, let's get started. Um, okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create our mouths. Uh, so this is already a preset character. I created eyes and... Oh, he doesn't have a nose. So just eyes and a face and a mouth. Uh, that doesn't really matter. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the mouth. That's what she said. So make sure that you have your mouth created. and just It's just a simple drawing. You don't peg it, anything. And you want to make sure you're in the drawing layer because if you create a peg, you can't create drawings on the peg. You can create a peg, but you'll have to draw on the drawing. So just make sure it's a drawing. So yeah, I have the peg over here, but you can't can't do anything with it. You gotta go click on the drawing, so make sure you don't have the drawing locked. And then, what I like to do is, I like to just use the timeline. Imagine that this line represents time. To create new drawings. Um, now there's many ways you can create new drawings. You can use the X sheet, um, which I'll explain in another tutorial. Um, so pretty much the X sheet, you can just create mouths as well each one has its own layer so pretty much you're moving on the timeline and you can just click like that and you can say like mouth number two and stuff like that but i usually just save that for later all right so what you want to do is just create a new drawing uh and there's a shortcut for it it's going to be no it's going to be alt shift d alt shift yeah okay so when you hit alt shift d it's going to create a shortcut and it's gonna say number two there. <laughs> oh God, I pooped my pants. Uh, so just to make sure that you created a new one on the timeline, it'll be like a split, like you'll see it split and you'll see a number two or yeah, it'll automatically create it by number two. So you have a split. So that makes sure that you don't delete the original mouth. The original mouth is set to number one and the new one set to number two. Okay, so now that you have number two on, what I like to do, now again, this is just personal. Bin Laden! This time it's personal! Fuck you! Uh, you can do it whatever, whatever way you want, but I like to turn on the uh, onion skin tool. Just find the onion skin. Sorry, this screen's really small. Click on the onion screen tool. And then, once you have the onion screen on, the onion skin, not the screen. Onion cream. <laughs> I have to go home! I need my cream! I need my cream! Um, you're gonna click on the second one, number two drawing. You grab your eraser tool. It's gonna erase it like that. Just make sure you you make the eraser big and just like I'm erasing it like bam. You grab your pencil tool, all right, and make sure you are on the line drawing because you know you're drawing the lines for the mouth, so you don't want to be on the color drawing unless you put all your color or your lines on the color layer, which is fine, I guess. Well, that's that's just fine. Um, so you're number two. So you create your new mouth. Create the new mouth. So, uh, let's see. Little shortcut key. Uh, you hold down O and you move your pen back or left or right or your mouse. To make it bigger or smaller. Slightly bigger. That's way too big. Close it down. Uh, shoot. I don't know what's going on. Let me make sure this is working. Is all right. Uh, it's a good size for now, I guess. So yeah, just for tutorial sake. Uh, line's still too big. Uh, let me go ahead and if you're holding on to the pencil, you can just go to the tool properties. Um, and once you're clicked on the pencil property, you can just go to the size and just do it from here. So I like to usually use about a thirteen, thirteen to fifteen. Be a good enough line. Uh, so yeah, your second mouth. You're gonna draw your second mouth. All right. So that's already set to number two. So already you see, if you turn off the onion skin, it might be a little bit confusing to see. You have one, two. So now you got mouth one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Um. 
So yeah, uh, if you're doing anime, then you will be all set. You can be just like, hey, how's it going? This is an anime show. Huh? Then I can go after Sasuke again! Um, but we're gonna do the American style of cartoon, so we're gonna make all our mounts. Um, so what I like to do is I usually... For the first method that we're gonna do, we're gonna do the Toon Boom method, which is the auto lip sync, which saves you a lot of time in the long run. Um, and what I like to do is I, I downloaded a mouth chart, and this is, I think this is directly from Toon Boom, I believe, but you can get it. You can get your own version anywhere. Toon Boom has a really weird specific one. Um, yeah, so these are the mouth drawings that I got, and what I usually do is I just, I just like, because this one's already set. This is directly from Toon Boom, so it'll tell you, like, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, X. And what pretty much means is that when you're detecting the mouths, it kind of, like, syncs it up to a specific letter. And it's going to be these letters. Like, you're not going to use any other letters. Toon Boom specifically wants these to be the layer names for your letters. It just makes it easy. Combines it all together. Um, so what you want to do is, like... So you have your first mouth set, so we can do that, right? And then you just continue to draw all the mouths. So for this, so say that's A again. And what you want, you what you don't want to do first of all, is you don't want to go over here, and then say you need an A mouth first. And you're like, oh hey, this is an A mouth or a B mouth. Actually, this is a B mouth. So click on B, and then you hit Enter, or click on the left mouse. And you're like, oh wait, where'd my mouth go? It's gone. <laughs> what did I do? I'm so st I'm dumb. I'm like the dumbest fuck in the world. Um, so control Z that shit because you did it wrong. Sorry, that's my phone. Um, and so what you want to do is what I learned is the easiest way is you want to go up and you get your X sheet right here. Now, if you don't have your X sheet, say you don't have an X sheet right here. You just click it out. You can always hit plus, and then you're gonna find the X sheet right here. It's at the very bottom, it's in alphabetic order. So if, yeah, if you don't have an X sheet, you can click it from any window, you can add it anywhere, X sheet, X sheet. Um, so what you wanna do instead is you wanna click on number two right here. And then in order to change the actual letter, or the number, not the drawing, you're gonna click on control D. And what that's gonna do is gonna, it's gonna let you rename the, the layer, or the, the drawing, sorry, the drawing substitute without actually changing the drawing. It's just going to change the, you know, the name. So here you want to make sure you do Shift B. I don't remember if Team Boom is very specific about capitalized B or short B, but uh, try it out if you want. Uh, just play it safe. I'm going to do capital B. B as in bitch. Boy, because that's not a bad word. Um, then you hit OK. And bam, so you got your B now. So yeah, you just want to continue doing this with the rest of them. I'm gonna do one more, just to show you how to keep adding. I do have a finished version, so in a bit I'm gonna skip on to all the drawings being done. Um, but let me do one more for you. You're gonna go up to the next drawing again, and then you're gonna click on Alt Shift D, and again that creates a new. Oops, did I do that right? Alt Shift. D. Okay, cool. And then again, number three now. I created a new one. Uh, personal choice. You turn on your onion skin. You get your eraser. You erase the shit out of it. I'm going to have to science the shit out of this. All right. And then you grab your pencil tool once again. Uh, you don't need your animation uh, tool on. You can turn it off if you want. I don't think it affects it. And then, again, you're going to create another mouth. Uh, again, uh, if you're using a line, you can choose whatever line you want, uh, whatever color you want. I use the black line for now. Uh, and then, so yeah, so then you draw another one. It's on, make, yeah, make sure you create a new drawing. Make a bigger mouth. So he's going to go, yeah. yeah. I'm just doing this real quick, so I might fuck it up. All right, and then you're like, oh, it's number three. Maybe I could use this for my C mouth, um, you know. I think that works for the C-mouth. Not that it matters. Uh, it's just an example. But yeah, so it's a little bit wider to C-mouth. So then you're like, hey, that works. So that's a good C-mouth. So you go to the X sheet again. X sheet. You're going to go to Control D. Control D is going to change the name, not the drawing. Uh, so Shift C. You hit OK. 
and bam, now you have C, B, and you can even change this one to A if you want. Go to number one, control D it to rename it on the X sheet. Uh, a, hit OK, and I see. Now you got A, B, C. Oops, sorry, let me turn that off. So yeah, it's meow, 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 meow. It's not a tumor. Uh, sorry. Okay, so yeah, it's pretty much how you make the drawings, the mouths. Um, so I'm going to skip over a few seconds. Uh, so I'll see you right now. For me, it's going to be like a few minutes, but for you, it's going to be right now. We're going to switch over to the new mouths, the done mouths. So I'll see you in a bit. All right, welcome back, guys. Um, as you can see, I've added a couple of things to him. A funny little hat there. Um, that doesn't really matter. Okay, so the thing is, I added all the mouths now. So we can click on the mouth layer, which is the mouth drawing layer. And then we're going to go to the library. Um, if you don't have the library again, you can just, you know, if, if you're missing the library, you can go down here <laughs> under the little plus sign and click on the library and uh, bring out the library window. The thing is, like, you can, once you create all your mouths, They'll show up in your library if you click on the actual drawing again drawing not the peg click on the drawing You can go to the library and on the library is a little scroller right here And it will show you all your mouths and it'll give you the the letter right here one There's a for me it's a b c d e f g x and the cool thing is cool thing about that Oh disappeared Cool thing about that is um <clears throat> you can go to any part of your timeline and then go to your library and then s click on, say, the e mouth, and bam, you have an e mouth. Peter, would you like more potatoes? Or you can click on it again and move it right here, and bam, c mouth. And you don't have to worry about anything else. You don't have to put a keyframe or anything. All, that's all you got to do. Um, um, so we'll save that for later. Right now, we're going to do the auto uh, lip sync. So let's just go ahead and uh, change everything back to X. That's X, X. Okay, so again, this is gonna be the easiest part. So first of all, we need our audio. So we're gonna hit File, we're gonna hit Import, and we're gonna go to Sound, and we're gonna get our sound file. This is a pre-recorded sound that I made, or that I got from my brother. He recorded the voice. So we click on Alien Voice, and then bam, it automatically comes here. You can scroll through it. You can click Play. Hello there, welcome. How are you doing? And that's the audio. Um. So you can scroll through it. Go back. Um, so what are you gonna do? Pretty much, you have your audio there, and you have your mouse. Um, and then, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on, you're gonna click on the audio. So click on the audio, uh, the audio layer itself. So once you have the audio selected, you're gonna go to layer properties. Okay. So here's the layer properties. And uh, something I forgot to mention, if you if you don't have the drawing uh, for any reason, you can easily look at these right here, these mouths, and they'll show you exactly, more or less, what kind of mouths you need for what letters. Um, so I guess in no particular order, so then you're going to click Detect on the audio, and what that's going to do is it's just going to like skim through the whole file and like kind of like do its best to guess like what letters it, it's trying to, you're trying to make. Um, so you click detect, you see, and then it's, if you saw the little bar, it's already like detecting the lip sync. So it automatically does that for you. Um, so now you got that set up. Uh, so then you're going to go to map and then you're going to click your destination layer, make that your mouth, uh, which is the mouth layer and you hit okay. Um, and then that's, that's pretty much it. Everything's automatically set up. It's pretty, pretty badass. So I click on play. Hello there. Welcome. How are you doing? Um, and that's pretty much all you gotta do. That's what she said. Um, just to show you one more time, just click on alien voice. You click on detect. You get a map. You map it. You get to the mouth. Look for your drawing layer that says mouth or whatever you named it. Hit OK. And there you go. It's simple as that. Hello there. Welcome. How are you doing? 
Now the bad thing about it is that like it, it does its best to detect the actual voice, um, but it doesn't like it doesn't do it perfectly sometimes. If for some reason you're having trouble with the mouse, like it just doesn't sync up right, um, and you already did the auto detect, you can easily just go back and and be like, <laughs> like, let's just say that that mouse was wrong. You're like, hey, it doesn't sound right, or hey, you missed a whole vowel. You can just go back on the already auto detected lip sync. Click on the mouth drawing, click on the frame that doesn't sound right, and you can easily just go back up here to the library, and then all you're gonna do is like, oh hey, maybe it missed a letter, so maybe I can just add it myself, and you just add it, and then bam, it's all set. You're like, okay, I fixed it. So, so you can go back. Um, if you are not perfectly happy with the auto lip sync, um, I know it gives me a lot of trouble. Um, you can just go back and go to your the frame that you wanna fix it on. And again, just switch it over to the mouth that you feel is right or the mouth that it might have missed. And, and we'll just fix it automatically there. Hello there. Welcome. How are you doing? So again, it's not perfect, but it's going to save you a lot of time if you have a lot of dialogue. Um, especially if you're a one-person animator and you're working it all on your own, it'll save you a lot of time. And uh, it's pretty easy. Um, so yeah, this is method one of how to animate a mouth on Harmony 14. So this is actually part one of my mouth tutorial. We're gonna have a part two that explains jaw movements and part three that will explain a more manual way to do this, which should be a lot shorter than this. Um, so stay tuned guys and stay fresh. We're gonna keep animating. Take care.